Yo, what's going on guys? DB Grinder here, back at it with another video. I'm just kidding, it's obviously not DB Grinder. I wish I was DB Grinder. Hail Austin, by the way. But yeah, uh, basically what I'm doing and what I will be doing for the next couple of days and hopefully weeks and hopefully months, <laughs> that would be free content for me anyways, is basically commentating over matches that I'm not even playing myself. Uh, other, you know, players from Montreal and... I mean, pretty much a bunch of cities in Quebec, which is a province in Canada, in case you weren't aware of that, I just uh, taught you something. It's pretty much a tournament uh, with a bunch of players. A lot of really good players are actually in here, by the way. Uh, people with YCS tops and stuff, so I'll be commentating over replays. And yeah, it's just, it's the Armageddon Cup, by the way, I think that's the name. So uh, if you want to actually follow the host of this tournament, it's Vishuda Pass, Vishuda Pass on Twitch. So I'll link his Twitch in my description below. And yeah, without uh, any further ado, let's jump right, right into replay number one, which is going to be, I think, Dragma Invoked against Dragma... Eldlich. Uh, no, sorry. Dragma Dragoon. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, let us get into it. So, what's gonna happen is that the Dragma Dragoon is going to win the dice roll. Both are playing Dragma cards, so it's, you know... Uh, he's going to go first with Double Ecclesia, Trap Trick, Punishment, and Nibiru. And, yeah, he's declaring his phases. Normal Summon, of course. Is it going to go through? Oh, apparently, yes. Okay, so he's searching Fleur de Lis now. Interesting. I'm going to lower the volume just a tiny little bit. Alright, and also he's going to set his two traps, so Trap Trick and Punishment, of course. Uh, yeah, there's no reason to search another Punishment because you don't uh, you already have one, so searching Fleur de Lis makes sense. Alistair here, uh, you don't have any effect negation yet because you can only use this while there's a monster summoned from the extra uh, from the extra deck on the field. So yeah, you can't really negate that Alistair, sadly. And yeah, by the time this actually hits the field, I mean, this doesn't line up really well against uh, that, you know, that, that deck, honestly. So, yeah, in three summons, he can already make a Merkaba. Nibiru's kind of looking dead, because if he has, like, an Ecclesia in the hand, you can just special summon it, get a search, and that's it, four summons. You don't even have to waste a monster from your hand to discard with Nibiru, so you can get, uh, you can keep that Merkaba for, like, another negate. Anyways, Desire is getting him even more cards in a hand 7 with the Merkab already going second, so he's a plus 2. Because Alistair is a plus 1, and actually Alistair is a plus 1 every single turn. Desire is an instant plus 1. Uh, yeah, so he's just going to attack, which isn't going to do much actually. Yeah, it's really not going to do anything because this monster cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster summoned from the extra deck. So, all is, all just, yeah, exactly. What, what's just going to happen is that he's going to take 1k. And that's about it, so he's just gonna pass. Oh, that's a Forbidden Droplet, okay, interesting. Yeah, okay, so this is something that you can technically play around, because you definitely know for a fact that they have the Punishment, otherwise they would have searched the Punishment with Fleur de Lis. Can't really think of that many decks that would play Ecclesia but not play at least one copy of Punishment. And Punishment's always just kind of better to search out. You can send Titanic Lad to get even more Recursions. Uh, so now he's going to... Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. He doesn't even have to discard a trap because the thing is Merkaba can actually be bumped to 3500 attack. Uh, not even because of Merkaba's effect, but because of Alistair actually increasing its attack by a thousand. So unless you play really whack cards like Five-Headed Dragon and stuff, uh, or just any extra deck monster with at least 3500 attack, you won't be able to destroy that Merkaba. Since you specifically have to destroy a monster with attack uh, equal or lower than the monster that you sent from your extra deck to the graveyard. So yeah, this punishment is just going to resolve with no effect. He's going to Extravagance. Hold on, I just want to see what he banished with Extravagance. So, ha <laughs> cowboy. It was just a joke, bro. It was a joke. Leave me alone, bro. I swear to God, anyone with a brain would have realized it was a joke. <laughs> Link Rebo. Yeah, you can play Link Rebo. Anima. Titanic Lad, Dragoon, Titanic Lad, and Entis. Okay, so you should have probably no more Titanic Lads. I don't think they, they play three. They should play three Dragoon, though. If you're playing Extravagance with... Oh, getting Ash. That sucks. Damn. Okay. Uh, that's a... Spe okay, that's a special seven. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter whether you're not using your normal or special because you don't really have any other plays. <laughs> uh, search... Uh... Oh, interestingly enough, he didn't negate... Oh, yeah, of course. He knows he has the Fleur de Lis. He searched it on turn one. Yeah, that that, that would be pointless. Yeah, negate your Ecclesia. Oh, Fleur de Lis. So I get negated and you still search. Yeah, no, just not the best play out there. 
So, he's just gonna set the punishment. He still has that trap trick. I don't know what this can really get him. And this forbidden drop, I know he's really holding it. Oh, I just uh, hovered over Ghost Bell. Ooh, <laughs> E. <laughs> Alright, uh, Meld. Oh, I imagine uh, when you already have to discard your Alistair and you actually top deck the other Alistair. I don't think that was a top deck, by the way, because he passed turn with a lot of cards in hand. So, I think he already had a, a bunch of Alistairs in the hand turn one. Otherwise, you probably would have played a little bit more. So yeah, this is going to search... Uh, why is he using Punishment now? Is there something I'm missing? Oh, he wants to bait him into using like an effect of something so he can chain Fleur de Lis and then negate the Merkaba. Because if he uses Fleur de Lis now, Merkaba is going to negate and this Punishment is just not going to have full value. So I guess this is what's going to happen. He can technically chain Forbidden Job to send his own Merkaba. So this Punishment won't be able to achieve much. And also, he won't even be able to use that Fleur de Lis, so this Alistair will 100% resolve depending on what exactly, I knew it. Negate one monster, technically you can negate, you can even send your Alistair and your, and or your Meltdown to negate the other Ecclesia, so you can jump over both of them in battle if you want to use something like Purgatrio. But then you also have to worry about Trap Trick and the Fleur de Lis and try not to summon five times, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. And I want to say Nibir in this matchup is 100% garbage. Four summons is the key number of summons that you need in order to play the game when you're playing like Dragma Invoke strategies. And it really looks like a mirror match, by the way. But remember that this guy is playing Dragoon, while this one, actually, I'm pretty sure he isn't. So, yeah, anyways, he surged that invocation, gets Ice Dragon's Prison. This card's nasty, really good. And if you use it right now, you can get rid of the two Alistairs. So as long as the opponent doesn't have something like... Something that discards a card from the hand to the grave, like Disciple of Nadir would be really good here because you would get Apkalo and search Adal Schism and then pitch the Invocation. And next turn, Invocation, you know, from the graveyard, get back Alistair and play from there. But for now, this is definitely really hype. Uh, just a lot of pressure on the opponent, honestly. Technically, what you could do is also revive Mer Merkaba and then banish. No, that would be really stupid, actually. <laughs> no, you, you really want to... Oh! Oh, Ghost Bell on the Ice Prison! Oh! See, this is, the this is the thing with Ghost Bell, is that on top of being able to be used on your opponent's combo, you can also use it on your own turn to stop trap cards like Ash Dragon's Prison, Scarlet Sanguine of Eldlich, and yeah, it's just kind of nasty. You cannot negate Invocation while they have Meltdown on the field, though, with Ghost Bell. So yeah, it negates the activation and not the effect. Not really worded the same way Ash is. And honestly, I want to say this is the thing that makes Ash really unfair. The fact that it negates the effect and not the activation. It definitely does make a world of a difference, trust me. So yeah, he's gonna get... Oh, this is this looks like an Ogoides or another Merkaba. Okay, yeah, he went for the Merkaba, which I can understand. He needs the negate for that Fleur de Lis. Right now, he's at two summons, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, getting back his Alistair. Uh, yeah, oh my god, man. Just that recursion game. Oh, th this one was actually halved by Forbidden Drop. So, definitely can jump over that one. I don't, I don't know, man. I, yeah, I think... Yeah, what I would have done what was probably send the Mel down as well to negate the other one so that Alistair could have actually jumped over this. And then the Fleur de Lis would have actually been been uh, threatened. But it doesn't matter because you have the negate with Merkaba anyways. Like, does he have a negate? Oh my god, okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of obvious at this point that he has game, but we're just gonna play- Oh, that's a good top deck. It would be a shame if they had Ghost Bell again. <laughs> Ah, uh, this, I know I'm killing the suspense by actually checking the opponent's hand, so I'll make sure to, you know what, actually no, starting from next replay, I'm going to definitely show the hands for both players, but to be fair, it is kind of interesting when I hide the hand of the opponent's player, uh, it can kind of create like suspense, you know, oh, I wasn't expecting that, yeah, well, me neither, <laughs> no, I try, I try to look, uh, Wait, hold on. Oh, I, I thought he used Didi Crow, but no, he actually used Merkaba, discarding to negate that Fleur de Lis, and then, of course, jumping over. Uh, it's kind of... Oh, my God, that's nasty. Yeah, so, Ecclesia Search. I could see this player scooping... <laughs> I swear to God, that was in stage. I was like, yeah, I could see him scooping really so Oh, yeah, I, oh, wait. <laughs> All right, so, I expect him to go first... And hopefully not do a repeat because that was quite unfortunate. Oh, Extravagance is a good way to start. Double Ice Prison and Red Eyes Wyvern though. So you, you're pretty much playing with three cards. That's like Tax City. So yeah, Pot of Extravagance. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, I just want to see the Banished Six. 
And then we're gonna draw, we're gonna see the draw too. So Entis, Dragoon, Omega, ooh, nice Link Tree Bull, uh, jo just a joke, and then a second Entis. Interesting, I'm pretty sure he plays three Entis, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so yeah, what is he drawing? Or is he getting ashed? Oh! Oh, you're good! But however, why did you choose to go first inside Lightning Storm? This card's garbage as a follow-up card, because you can't use it if you have no... If you have, like, any face-up cards on the field, like, Harpy's Feather Duster, even if you're citing it going first, I can understand, because it's good as a follow-up play, but Lightning Storm isn't. Same thing with, like, Evenly, so... Yeah. Anyways, ah, uh, this is really crafty, so Chimera Reflesia can search a card with the fusion with the word Fusion in its card name during the next standby phase in which it was sent to the graveyard, not necessarily, like, from the grave, like, field to the grave, etc., so you can search Super Poly and Red Ice Fusion, basically. So, yeah, he's searching Ecclesia, then he's going Ecclesia, search for something. And by the way, this tells us that he plays Red Eyes Insight. It's just, it's kind of unfortunate when you draw the one tax and not the six of starter. So, things couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Anyways, he has searched that, oh, he, he's not actually searching Punishment, interesting. Uh, maybe he only plays two Entis. Yeah, anyways, set two. Uh, I really like this. He's only setting one Ice Dragon's Prison, even though he drew two. There's no reason to bluff for no reason. You could get a hit by Evenly, which I think is highly unlikely, but it can happen. Anyways, and then, of course, Trap Trick is just a chainable card. Even if they go on, like, battle phase, you can compulse yourself, which obviously is a really bad idea, but anyways. Uh, Rice Fusion is going to be searched on standby because of the graveyard effect of Chimera Aflesia, just like I explained literally uh, 1.4 seconds ago. And my laptop is lagging like a mother fricker. Meltdown is going to search Alistair, which once again, Ecclesia's just... Oh, uh, sorry, Fleur de Lis isn't really good here. He's using Trap Trick right away, not even trying to use uh, Ice Dragon's Prison. Oh, that's kind of playing with fire. I don't, I don't I don't, think I like this too much. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. It's not like he had a light in the grave anyways, so he really has to link off that Alistair. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't agree with this move whatsoever. So yeah, Alistair is going to search Invocation. Of course, if he uses Invocation, he's just gonna get cucked by D-Barrier, so he's just not gonna use it, obviously. It's a trap trick into D-Barrier on my face, sure. Uh, anyways, now I actually want to check this, so... Desires Banished, Alistair, Ash, Nadir Servant, Ice Prison, Forbidden Job, DD Crow, Terraforming, DD Crow, Ghost Buff... Oh. Okay, sure, you banished one engine card, ooh. Big deal, and Hand Shops, and probably drawing good cards, Nid Hey, if my desires could always do that, would be, that would be very appreciated. Draw into the deer and DD Crow. Yeah, I mean, DD Crow is just not great in this matchup. Yeah, sure, you can use DD Crow on Chimera Flesia during the draw phase, because it has to stay all the way until the standby. So, yeah, but I don't know. Would have been nice if it was like a real Dragmine Invoked Mirror, but it's not. It's like not the case. So, yeah, and now he's going to. Pitch Titanic Clad, Search Ecclesia, which he's definitely going to special summon. Probably search for Fleur de Lys. Then eh, he's probably gonna get negated right now. Oh, not even! Not even. He can actually negate him though. Alright. So yeah, search pun. Oh, set three! Oh, that's filthy. I think he's doing that on purpose though, not committing to the Fleur de Lys, just so he can actually use this lightning storm eventually. Uh, his opponent summoning Ecclesia and attack was definitely an incorrect move. Well, I mean, to be fair, I guess you weren't really expecting a Lightning Storm out of everything, because now he can kind of just crash this, and then Lightning Storm for spells and traps, and then he's safe to use Red Ice Fusion regardless. So, this would be a good move, and of course now he's searching uh, Fleur de Lys. Yeah, I can definitely see that. And yeah, it's just... You're literally wasting a, a negate, like an interruption, by doing this, so I just completely disagree. Oh, and also, you're giving him the opportunity to use Mystic Mine. Ooh. To be fair, I don't think Mystic Mine would do anything. Would, does he have outs to Mystic Mine in the main deck? Can't really see too much. Yeah. If he plays at least one Lightning Storm, then he can tribute Set. And then set a Meltdown on top, but... Uh, I don't know. Anyways, he's going Punishment and Tis for the... Oh, uh, yeah, he's just gonna say, like, whatever. Just call Pendulums or something. I don't care. And then Lightning Storm. Ooh, that's interesting. Ice Dragon's Prison revive back the Ecclesia and defense, I think. But he's not going to be able to banish anything, so eh, we don't really care too much. Just sad that this Ice Dragon's Prison was just completely unusable. He also could have revived back Alistair and then banish... 
Is there something that I'm missing? Why isn't he chaining? Oh no, never mind. His Ice Dragon's prison isn't actually being threatened, only the opponent. And yeah, Shadal Schism doesn't do anything here. So yeah, Rise Fusion, as long as you don't get Ashed, you're good. Oh, and he doesn't get Ashed, ooh. Ah, that's gonna be a pain in the ass for uh, our opponent right there. So uh, pop two, deal 3k. Definitely gotta have to pop the two Ecclesias right there. Okay, sure. He already used up his battle phase, unfortunately, just to crash an Ecclesia, so it's not the best. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So what I would do here, personally, I think my opponent... Uh, no, my opponent has Invocation, not... Uh, no, sorry, Alistair, not Invocation. Because I was gonna say, just use Ice Dragon's Prison, uh, get rid of that Alistair and that um, thingy, this Link monster, and then set your other Ice Dragon's Prison, but it doesn't really matter too much. And I think he also had to use up... Well, not necessarily the... Oh, yeah, well, Red Eyes Fusion, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, sure. Because I was gonna say you can normal summon that Red Eyes Wyvern, but you can also actually just set it. But it's better off to just keep as a discard for Dragoon. Yeah, so... Oh my god, he's just setting one and pass. That's actually all you need, to be honest, because he does have that Fleur de... Oh, actually, that's... never mind. But he can just send the monster and then get rid of the Dragoon this way. So yeah, burn for 800. It's kind of getting expensive, you know what I'm saying? So summon that Fleur de Lis doesn't... Does it really matter? I mean, he can sponge and not die. Uh, oh, he's actually he's actually saying think on uh, main phase. So he can summon the Fleur de Lis, which is not a good idea, because you can actually just let it go through and then pop it. Deal even more damage, but you're going to see something soon enough. So yeah, summon in defense, that's not really a sponge. Uh, get Ghost Bell here, whatever, doesn't really matter too much. So a normal... Uh, what? You can use the effect of this twice. You were supposed to destroy this, my guy. Is there something I'm missing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can use the effect of Dragoon up to twice per turn. I'm pretty sure the only time he popped this turn was to inflict 800 by destroying Artemis, so that's definitely a misplay. Yeah, he definitely should have... Not, not that it mattered that much, because you can just go Forbidden Drop, pitch like a monster and something else to negate and have the attack of these two at least survive a little bit. But no, never mind, I'm actually lying. That would have been 100% game, because then you can go Ice Dragon's Prison, revive back a Spellcaster, banish, banish, attack for game, and that's it, that's all. So, yeah. And actually, he could have revived back... Yeah, he could have revived back Ecclesia, and then banish the halved Fleur de Lys and his own, yeah. I don't know, that was a misstep and a half, honestly. So, Forbidden Drop, DD Crow, yeah, well, yes, yeah, just... Okay, if... If, um... If our Dragoon player doesn't win right there, uh, I can definitely blame it on... Yeah, the fact that he forgot that Dragoon could actually pop a side. Unless I'm missing something. Maybe I'm just stupid, honestly. Anyways, uh, it's still an uphill battle. Okay, yeah, whatever. Sure, it's... Yeah. <laughs> whatever works, you know? Yeah, it's just... Okay. Anyways, uh, let's get into game three. Uh, yeah, reviving back... I didn't see it because it was on the field, not in the graveyard yet, but it doesn't really matter. Uh... Yeah, if he actually went for Forbidden Drop to send an additional card to Halve again, then it would have been different. He would have had enough light points. Obviously, with like two cards in hand, top decking against Dragoon, not the better, not the best odds, but it's not the end of the world. This is the kind of hand that would draw in Cyber Dragons. <laughs> it's funny, Unending Nightmare, Trap Trick. Uh, yo, Unending Nightmare, man. I'm pretty sure I'm the only guy in the entire world who topped a YCS by main decking Unending Nightmare. I definitely could be wrong, though. Anyways, uh, Desires, Banished 10. Once again, I really want to check what he banished. Uh, okay, oh, a Pointer of the Red Lotus. Invocation, Meltdown, Duster, M Meltdown number 2. Desires, okay, yeah, it's good, good. Meltdown number three? Oh, so terraforming would be Desires banish two desires! No! You're good at the game! Oh, give me some skill! And also, he banished the meltdowns, but not the Alistairs. Imagine drawing Alistair right now. Hold on a second. Oh, he's also checking the banish. Draw two. That's Ghost Bell and Ice Dragon's Prison. Respectable. But you're going up against Lightning Storm. That's kind of scary. Oh, so there's a Cyclone of the Year. Of course, of course. Of course. If, if something bad can happen to you, it will happen. It's it's Murphy's Law. Just always expect the worst case scenario. Uh, so yes, uh, Al Capone, the gangsta, the coke dealer. Uh, yeah, the, the Pepsi dealer is Al uh, Ab Cologne, but the coke dealer is Al Capone. Anyways, so uh, Ecclesia search for uh, It's Your Boy or It's Your Girl, actually. 
uh, Flower Delis. Uh, what the? He actually discarded the Heavy Storm Duster? It's actually such a good card. Bro, against 10 billion shops. Why? Why? It, it, what's the rest of your hand? Okay, yeah, the crack, but still. <laughs> okay, yeah, you generally have to. Mm, oh, he had a lot of cards that could actually have been set, like Forbidden Drop and Ice Dragon's Prison, and choose, like, chose only to set two. However, where the heck is. I don't know, I feel like there's something fishy here. Uh, he can't even make Winda here. He can make cons Construct, but that's kind of not enough. Oh shit, I almost died. Anyways, uh, yeah, Red Eyes Insight, Pitch Wyvern, Red Eyes Fusion into Dragoon right now, probably. Oh, Lightning Storm Fraud. <laughs> it's not, uh, not uh, ideal. So, okay, yeah, he's definitely gonna make Construct, probably send Ariel with Construct, except if he doesn't play it. Uh, yeah, is he gonna use the effect? Oh, yeah, viewing deck. Oh, Shadow Beast. Okay, sure, sure, sure. So, yeah, draw one card. Probably gonna draw Ash since you're good at the game. Okay, Ghost Bell still. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, Red Eyes Fusion. Imagine drawing Ash here. The ultimate disrespect. Yeah, I'll just upstart during your turn. Oh, what a coincidence. I, ju I actually just conveniently happened to draw the card that outed your, uh, your, um, your fusion. Yeah, anyways. I, the thing is, he has Mystic Mind anyway, but... Th th that's why I guess pitching that heavy storm duster was kind of questionable. It just looks like a really good card to me. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But the th the thing is, you really have to keep as many outs to dragoon as possible. So I can definitely understand that. And if he made him go first, oh, would have been dreadful actually. And not, not actually. Never mind, because I'm pretty sure the red eyes inside was the sixth card. It was the top deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, his opening five wasn't great. I think. He had Mystic Mine, Lightning Storm, and three traps. Yeah, exactly. Moral of the story, make Dragoon players go first. Ah, it's fine. You you have pretty good chances of drawing your, those uh, Forbidden Drop and stuff. Anyways, uh, set two. Once again, I really like... Yo, those players are freaking sick, man. They're not always setting a bunch of cards for no reason. Only setting the amount of cards that they need to not die. And yeah, now he can just basically set three. The getting... Oh, ne Necrofusion! Bro! <laughs> no way! He's gonna make another Dragoon! Bro! Oh, th this is bad! Oh, this is 100% game! Oh, this is literally game and a half! Oh, the Forbidden Shop. And... Uh, ghost oh, he Ghost Bell the Necrofusioned! And then negated by discarding Mystic Mine to get hit by Forbidden Drop! That's like the end of the world! <laughs> well, not really, actually. He had to trade in three cards. Two Ghost Bells and a Forbidden Drop just to slow him down in his tracks. And he still has Dragoon that's gonna get back full attack and his effect next turn. So it's not the best deal out there. Does he have something that's... Uh... Oh yeah, the combination of Forbidden Drop and Ice Dragon's Prison is definitely enough to get you there. But Top Deck Ecclesia is the way you do it, my guy. That's actually pretty darn nasty. So is this gonna be a Winda summon? He has Construct in the... Oh yeah, 100%. He has a Construct and... Uh, what's his face looking ass? Beast. So, this should be Winda. Huh? He's not negated with Dragoon? Bro, why? The, your Dragoon's being sent, by the way. Oh, this is bad. Why? He could have negated that. He literally could have negated that. Obviously, he would have got cucked by Forbidden Drop, but he literally could have negated that. Uh, I don't know. I don't... Uh, yeah, search for sure, but... Okay, yeah, sure. Th this is one of those situations where setting that Unending Nightmare would have actually made the difference between winning and losing here. Because instead of having to waste your Dragoon Negate, you can just go for, like, Unending Nightmare pop. But at the same time... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so he's just, uh... Just gonna... Yeah, he's, he can't really do too much. Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah, yeah, he can summon that uh, Fleur de Lys and then D-Barrier call... What, Fusion? Okay, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Wait, hold on. Red Eyes Wyvern is the turn you use it, you can't normal summon. So that uh, Ecclesia was a special summon. Sure, sure, sure. That's, that's fine. Okay, and he's still not setting the Unending Nightmare because he wants to... Wait, what? Oh, he already special summoned the Ecclesia. Wait, what? No, he didn't special summon the Ecclesia. Is there something I'm missing? Uh, no, no, I mean, he did special summon the Ecclesia, but before Winda was on the field. Pretty sure he summoned Winda as soon as the Ecclesia was summoned. Like, chaining to the effect. Oh my god. Never mind. This game is over. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ah, my feelings have been broken. Uh, and by broken, I don't mean like degenerate tier zero. Okay, yeah, sure. Punishment just doesn't matter anymore. Okay. 
Forbidden Drop is great at beating Dragma Punishment. It's crazy. That or Alistair boost, boosting the Merkaba. So, I don't know, man. Honestly, both players definitely played well. I think he was... Uh, this player, the Dragma Invoked, was a bit more... Not, ne not necessarily, like, more heads up, but it's just every time he had the opportunity to do, like, a correct move, he at least... He, he sees the opportunity. Like, always going, like, Forbidden Drop in a smart way. Uh, but honestly, both players actually just played it well by not overcommitting and stuff. I didn't really see anything like too crafty with forcing your opponent to go first, uh, despite losing the game and then, you know, moving on and then they break on side deck cards and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is literally just the writing on the wall. This game is 100% over. Uh, this is Ice Dragon's Prison, so he can just revive back anything and then attack for game. Uh, so yeah, good game to both of these players. I'm not sure if I know their names, especially not with the this user name. Oh yeah, well I mean, yeah. The thing is, wait, what? Why does he? Why did he use invocation? Uh, so okay, sure, it doesn't matter. But whatever, he's on freaking unending nightmare, facing a negate and a winda. So yeah, it's just a matter of time before he scoops it up. Come on, come on, come on. I uh, I don't think he's gonna win with extravagance. What is he banishing? Uh, Dragoon, Dragoon, uh, no, 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 not Dragoon, 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 that would be bad. Uh, sure. Yeah, you see, yeah, this is just, this is game. Why, why do I, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, you, you don't even have to, um, the, 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 the funny thing here is that you don't even have to negate the activation of uh, Fleur de Lys. You can just let him attack over the Winda and then just boost the Winda by a thousand because of Alistair. Because for some reason, Alistair boosts, boosts like fusion monsters and not just uh, thingy. But anyways, once again, this is just... This game's over. Why are we... <laughs> yeah, there, there's Ice Dragon's Prison. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, all right. Now he wins the duel. The game was over 10 years ago. Anyways, so once again, just a pretty huge, big, uh, good game to both of these players. Like I said, really, really nice games. And uh, yeah, I am looking forward to seeing the next replay replays of this tournament really, really soon. So make sure you're tuned in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you very soon. Peace.